microphone clips in it. The collection of clips. Thought it might be interesting to look at um, microphone clips because we all use them. First off, sure, old school. We've all seen them probably. Sure, current, more elastic. Bayer Dynamic, quite elastic. Larger one, which is looks like a copy of the Shaw ish, sort of a wave shape on the side. Probably designed for a uh, radio mic. It's got some uh, ribbing in there for grip. This is one that came with the Earthworks, which is actually a K&M, Konig and Meyer. And finally, been interested in these clothes peg clip. I'm going to mount them to a mic stand and we'll see how they work. A couple of things here with the mounting. Some of them have a often brass bushing. Without the bushing, you have a larger diameter that suits some mic stands, not many these days. Uh, you, if, you see, if you see this, it's because you need, you might need to screw that in there give you a smaller diameter for most of the microphones you're going to come across, stands you're going to come across. This one I notice has plastic thread in there. You can see with the biodynamic, Bayer Dynamic, that it's got one in there already. The Shure has one in there too. The Shure has a metal insert that the metal screws into, which is nice. I'm going to strip. I'm going to mount them to a mic stand. I'm going to try them with an SM58 tapered barrel, very familiar. The Bayer ribbon mic tapered barrel, but a fair bit larger diameter and quite a heavy mic. With the Bayer M88, which has non-tapered barrel and finally with an AKG 535EB which is very slightly tapered barrel but a much smaller diameter so we're going to see how they uh, work with these. Sure old school with an SM58 Cable goes in very easily, fits very easily, as you'd expect. Sometimes can be, if you give a little twist as you pull out, makes it easier. With the thicker Bayer ribbon mic, doesn't want to go in, can force it, and it does. Doing that tends to stress this as they get older and sometimes this bit just breaks off and the mic falls to the ground. Hopefully it might do it whilst you've still got hold of it. With the Bayer M88 which is uh, not tapered straight. A little difficult to get it in. With a bit of push you can. It's okay, wobbles about a bit there because there's a taper on the clip and so this bit at the front here is a little bit loose. You can work at a push again. I think it'd be okay, it's not too bad, not like the thick one. The AKG, which is quite slender, 
very slightly tapered. Fits easily, a lot of play there, less play there. Pretty secure there, but do you really want it? I, I don't like that particularly, but um, up to you, but it will work. So in most circumstances it will work. Uh, here, huh, because I use uh, nitric switched cables, or the XLR is switched, so you can switch the mic off by turning the red ring. That can, uh, it's a little bit proud, can sometimes foul there. Onto the new Shure. The current Shure clip is a different kind of plastic. It's more elastic plastic. With an SM58, as we'd expect, easy cable entry. Very secure, very nice. Nice placement as well for my liking. And also, I'm going to call it a quick release function in that you can it's elastic, so you can pop it in and out that way without having to do this. Up to you. Works well with both. With the straight-sided M88, a little bit of an issue there. Not, not too much of a problem. Because of the more elastic nature of this, it's a good fit. And also you have the option, of course, of removing it that way. With the larger V90R ribbon microphone, no joy with that, but feels quite firm with that. And with the skinny AKG, hit focus, as you'd expect, no problem with that. Slight taper on the AKG, so again, you need to go there and it's fine if you like it there. It's not going to happen, or if you have the mic tilted down for sax but singing. We're talking about singers mostly here. Pretty good on, on most, well, will work on all, and pretty good on most. The Bayer Dynamic. SM58. Cable entry is fine. A little bit narrower than the shore in terms of space to get the cable in there. Does all right with that. Fine. And of course, I use this one mostly like this. Straight-sided M88. Being a biodynamic clip, you can imagine it's going to work. Doesn't like that so much, but I think this whole this clip is designed for this. Again, a bit of fouling there if you're using these, but most people don't. But even then, when it gets to the uh, the barrel of the, so that's the way to go. Incidentally, with this method, it takes a little bit of practice actually. Um, on the Bayer Dynamic, there's no adjustment here. I've never had one come loose. They wear in a bit. This is a little bit stiff, maybe. They wear in a bit. I've never had one come loose. The others have. An adjustment there for the tension. One thing to watch with the this one, even if I don't use this clip, if I use a standard nitric here, every now and then there's a clip here that releases the cable, the plug. Very nice fit. German, German. Ugh. And it can be pressed by this here occasionally. So if you do do, 
you do remove it by pulling it out like this. Sometimes there's a clip you can see in the gap. If it happens to be in that orientation, now it's pressing against that. On this one I can feel it's going to be fine, but sometimes you get that, it's pressing, and on stage you pull the mic out. So really I think these are designed for that. When you do move them, sometimes you can snap them out. Careful about making too much noise, you get used to it. I tend to put my finger, little finger, underneath here in the crook, 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 something. And then as I lever, it can lever against my finger and come out quite easily. Going back in, I put the palm of my hand there, and as I offer it up to the slight V shape there, Nice and easy. Something to watch out for with these. They're my favourite and they're classy as well. Very nicely made. Uh, the new ones are black around there. I quite like the kind of nickel uh, metal here. But uh, they're very, very nicely made. Very classy. A bit cabaret maybe. I don't know. Probably not rock and roll. But, and then also you could step on them and they don't break. Neither would the, the new Shure. If you step on it, it's, on, you know, it's the kind of thing that happens here putting mic stands away all on the floor and everything, someone steps on them. The older ones, more brittle ones, if you step on them, would tend to crack. Of all these, what I'm going to call quick release ones, of course, if someone walks past, or you swing around with your guitar or something and knock it, it's going to fall out, which is unlikely to happen with the... Um, the old school short or even some of the newer more elastic ones which are a little bit tighter so just bear that in mind depends on the kind of gigs you do uh, carrying on with the thicker ribbon mic fine I have noticed with this because it's quite thick you'd, I, you can get different sizes of these as you can I'm not so sure about them I'm sure I'm sure you I'm sure you can with all of them get different sizes. So this one's kind of borderline, it's fine. Grips it nicely there. If you push it a bit further in, because it's thicker, it starts obviously to come out a little bit because everything's bigger and it gets a little bit, maybe, yeah, maybe just a little bit happy to jump out. So with this one, I tend to make sure it's fairly near the end. Of course, the nearer the end it is, the more leverage there is here if you do knock it. So, yeah. And onto the skinny AKG, slightly tapered. Tapering doesn't really matter much. Fine. A bit loose there. Fine. Lovely. Tapering doesn't matter so much with these because even though this is, uh, yes, I can see it is slightly tapered because it's so elastic, there's enough give for it to hold tightly on most microphones. I'm swapping over to the Earthworks clip and because I've removed this from it, I need to put it back. It's binding a bit so sometimes you can't, you need an implement. Be very careful, of course, don't hurt yourself, but I've uh, got two slots there and the blunt edge of a knife will just loosen it sufficiently. and then I can screw it into the Earthworks thread. This is the Earthworks clip, which is actually a K&M, Connie and Meyer, who make loads of stuff, mic stands and all sorts of things, and clips, and I, they I don't know if they make them for other people, but Earthworks have put their um, logo there, which is a bit of plastic which is actually coming off. Earthworks, man. Come on. Come on, man. There it is. With the SM58. An issue with this particular one, 
And because this cable is, I like it, it's quite uh, hefty, but it doesn't, on this one it doesn't, so really, if you take the mic in and out a lot, you're going to have to use two hands, because the cable won't go in. So you're going to have to have a spare hand to feed the cable to start in, and then you're in business. Even though this is a slightly larger clip, the Earthworks SR40V is a slightly larger mic, so this the SM58 sits a bit lower to be secure. And not really a quick release function, no, not really. So the clip thing, and then of course when you take it out, you're fiddling about with that. The large ribbon mic, again let's get the cable fed, and then suit, because it's a slightly larger clip, suits this one very well, very secure, it's not going to knock out either. So that would be a good option if for these larger mics want a really secure fit. Straight sided Bayer M88. Feed the cable through on this one. Uh, I could just get a razor blade, that's what I've been planning to do for some time, and simply uh, remove a little bit either side, make it easier. Because a larger clip, the Bayer fits well, fits at the tapered end there firmly and then wobbles about a bit there, pushing a bit further. Fine, still wobbles about, but it's not going to fall out. It's just obviously not the best fit, it's not designed for this one. And as you can imagine, the uh, AKG being quite skinny is uh, well, it would work if you were like that, but of course, the minute you do that or anything, it's, you're in trouble. Clothes peg clip. I was interested in these. Um, Nice idea. But I think it could be better executed. Uh, these have always seemed to me to be cheap and cheerful. This one I got from uh, Bayer Dynamic, um, guessing that that would probably be the, uh, the best quality of them. Hmm, still a bit, I don't know, I don't quite have faith in them. They kind of work, you know, here's the SM58. So what you do this time, two-handed operation, of course, because you need to squeeze this. That needs tightening up a bit there. I mean, fine. Do I trust it? Fine. Um, the advantage, possibly, is that if you can't kill the mic, uh, when you're having to swap mics about and stuff. I don't know what situation that might be, but imagine if you can't kill the mic, this is probably the quietest way of putting a mic into a clip with the right mic. You've got plenty of room to... So say you just couldn't, and it was a recording, and you need to change mics, or you had to come up and do something in a recording, you'd probably get minimum noise if you were, once you practiced it a bit. Uh, that's the S758. The straight-sided M88, as we can imagine, not going to be an issue. I don't see any taper on this, do I? Mm, difficult to say. Don't think so. I think there's a little bit of taper in the... The jaws can move a little bit that way. So M88. Very easy. The bigger ribbon well quite a heavy mic for it there I, I can tighten that up and that creaky noise it's just uh, no, it just really feels all that rock and roll to me but it works it's probably got its uses specialist uses which I don't know about and I really should but uh, hey and the skinny one of course with something like this not gonna be a problem at all in fact because the skinny one's lighter as well, it works very well. There's rubber bushings on the jaws there, either side, to hold them out. Final thoughts then. The, my favourite, I'm a bit Bayer biased perhaps, oh, what can you do, human being in it? I, I like that. Works on pretty much everything, works well. 
the new short I like works on pretty much everything because now it's more elastic feels quality very good the older shore I wouldn't bother they're probably not around anymore but you know if you're asking I've seen several of them crack this one a bit specialist I guess two things I've noticed I don't know about this bale one or if they're even made by different people I don't know who they're made by things to watch out for is there's a pin here And I've seen that work out, start to protrude. And if it does, it, it, the hinges, if the pin is the centre of the hinge, then the hinges go. Usually the back one first as it works out because the front one's still in place. So you get some warning because you think, oh, what's going on? What's happening here? So that can happen. I've also seen, it's all plastic and the, the hinges are plastic and I've seen them crack and it's under tension the whole time, of course, there's a spring there. I've seen them crack and the thing falls apart as well. I think it's a nice idea. I'd like to see it made out of metal, aluminium, and kind of um, copying this a bit, maybe. Something really nice. I think it's a nice idea, um, but most of the incarnations of it I've seen, I, I wouldn't really trust. But I may be wrong about that. A couple of other things. These are often coming loose. Other bits of mic stands I find a bit lower down here. Often comes loose. Personally, I don't like that. Things wobbling around the thing. I have to keep tightening up. When you undo this one, sometimes it undoes that one at the same time. So I can't be doing all that, frankly. And um, I'm happy with my bare mic clips. I don't swap mic clips about much. So I use this which is called Threadlock. It's a kind of a glue. It's not a very strong glue, it's strong enough. You get various versions, this is medium. For very tiny screws you get light. For engine type stuff you can get heavy, different grades of it, I've used a medium here. And you put it on the threads here, screw your clip on, give it a couple of hours, it sets in a kind of rubbery way. So they don't vibrate loose. I've never had one come loose with just normal usage. If you do need to change this, you're probably gonna to have to, but it is designed to, to, to come undone. So you're gonna to have to use some, some force to get the right, the right one. So I think that's about it. I hope it's of uh, some use. Adios.